Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. Welcome to the first day of the five day challenge. I really appreciate you signing up, it's really great. Hey, you know, I was just checking my Texas Expander stats, right? And it says that I, it has saved me, according to Texas Expander, 82 hours of typing or work, right? I'm going about to show you why else I use Texas Expander. So tune in. All right, so now here we are in Texas Expander here. And you know, it's like probably with your Texas Expander or your text expansion program. You have a lot of snippets like I do. Probably have over a thousand. I don't know how many I have in there. But there are a couple of reasons why I stick this text expander. And um, I was asked this question, actually, let me back up and say that uh, Rick uh, Torchia, I hope I pronounced his last name correctly, he was the first one to ask me a question uh, for the challenge, right? Uh, he asked me to talk about text expander and how and why he, uh, you know, why, how and why I use it. So basically, uh, a couple of reasons why I stick with it because there's a, you know all different types of text expander like Type It For Me and other programs do the same thing. You know, you can kind of expand text, snippets of text, right, using the abbreviation. So we got that covered. Pretty much, we pretty much know that. If you don't know that, let me know in the uh, comment section if you've never started using uh, a text expansion program. But one of the one one of the reasons why I use Text Expander is let's go over to uh, let me see where does it say suggestions right here. In here, there's the thing one um, it it Text Expander suggests snippets based on your typing habits. So if there's a lot of words that you use or phrases, it will give you some suggestions about those, uh, and and you can you know take a look at them and decide if you want to. Uh, turn it into a snippet, right? So that's one. I don't use it that much, but it's there as an example, and it's particularly useful if you are just kind of starting using a Texas Expander program. But I also use it because um, Texas Expander notifies me of an abbreviation when I type a snippet that already exists. Now that's super cool because you really can't always remember, you know, just every little abbreviation to put together. So for example, if I were to type out the word, let me see, screenshot, let me see if it'll work here, right there. So basically in the up in the corner, it gives you a notification that, hey, you've already created a, an expansion, a, a text expansion for this particular word, and here is the abbreviation that you assign to it, right? And so that really kind of comes in handy to remind me sometimes of what you know, I've created in Text Expander and, uh, and you know, just to kind of keep using it. So it's really good. And then you can also do a, um, a search um, in Text Expander uh, if you want to, to find words as well. Um, you know, if you go up to the Text Expander thing here and uh, you do it, you know, you can go into the search bar and type, uh, type a word to see what you put in there as well. So that's, that's one of the one reasons why I use it. Um, another reason why we're up here, another reason why I use it is because I can edit the last, um, you know, expansion that I use, right? So say that I, you know, I kind of expanded something, but I really want to kind of change it up or I want to change the abbreviation because it conflicts with something else, right? All I have to do is I can either go up here in the menu bar and click here, but I also created a, a keyboard maestro a macro that allows me to uh, trigger this keyboard shortcut in line. So I don't have to stop and, um, you know, go up to my, uh, uh, to the menu bar all the time in order to trigger this here. So I can do it in line and change that snippet the way that I want. So that's really cool as well. That's another reason why I use it. It's really cool there. Um, another thing is uh, Rick was asking me, you know, like how do you, you know, how do I use Text Expander with my iOS devices? I really don't use it too much, but because iOS, because Text Expander, um, you know, you open an account for Text Expander and it's, your account is online, it's in their, I guess, in their server or what have you, right? That anything that you type into, you know, your Text Expander application, right? You type it into your online account. And then that gets automatically updated and synchronized to your iOS uh, Text Expander app. So that is always up to date there. And uh, but you will need, you know, if you want to, 
that you would need to have, you know, kind of internet connection in you know, order to make sure that those expansions, I mean, those, those synchronizations uh, work. Um, you know, so you, you got to keep that in mind. But that's a really good thing that I like to use. And so those are just a few examples of why I keep using Text Expander here. I'm not saying that other programs are not not good as well. I also you use Alfred. Alfred is a good a good Text Expander um, application as well that you can use, uh, particularly if you don't have a lot of uh, uh, you, you know text uh, expansions that you want to create. You can just use Alfred as part of a program that already exists. So there are quite a few of them. So the question of the day. So the question of the day is. What text expansion program do you use and why do you use it and how do you use it? And also, if you have any other questions or comments or what have you, put them in that comment section below. Um, I would love to get your feedback on this challenge, right? And some of your questions that you may ask, I'll probably use during this challenge, I might answer during this challenge or sometime in the future in a one minute or, you know, tutorial or something. So, you know, be sure to raise your questions, give your comments, give your feedback, share your strategies. And I thank you again for being a part of this five-day Mac Automation Challenge. Thanks a lot.